Hello Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading. This is gonna be for the week of the 7th going to the 13th of February. So let's have a little look together and see what's going on for you guys. Let's see what is going on with Scorpio's please spirit. Clean it up coming through. Very big need to cleanse your space, cleanse your energy. We have time to go on the bottom of the deck here, which you are gonna discover why when you've done it, <laughs> okay? It's always when you come out of a situation that you understand why you needed to leave something behind or move on with your life. I kind of get the energy that it's on a lot of levels to move on with your life. You're not who you used to be, Scorpio, and I can see that a lot of you were kind of caught in a spider's web is what they're saying to me, very random message, but it's coming through. So maybe someone was a bit of a narcissist in the past, a bit of a liar, and they had you caught up in something. They had you, they were stringing you along in some ways uh, as well. And uh, I'm also kind of seeing you felt stuck in a, in a situation. It doesn't have to be to do with love. It can also be to do with career and stuff like that. People kind of had you stuck uh, in their web here. Um, but this is a time where you're breaking free from that, by the way. Um, and the, the water signs are gaining a lot to do with their power. And I love this for you guys. I feel it, which is always good because this is when you start stepping up levels, which is also really nice. A glow up, of course, for the water signs, which always happens. Now, when you see a spider web as well, and well, in a vision at least, this is also about you creating your dreams, creating your destiny. And a lot of you are starting to... Uh, I'm hearing the words forge, forge, forge something. Uh, so maybe it's about pulling your ideas together here. Um, but I, I just mean this in a sense that you're creating your own dreams. Nothing is impossible here at the end of the day. I feel like there's a lot that you are capable of doing, but it's just about doing it. All right, you have a lot of great ideas that are coming through for you, but it's about grounding those ideas and making sure that we are doing some, taking the steps towards getting there, okay? Be careful of your eyes. I'm rubbing them, so you guys might be very tired within this week. Just do what you can do in a day. And then the next day is a different day, a new day. You know what I mean? Allow yourself to have that ability to be on and off. You know, know when to push forward and know when to relax. Masculine and feminine energy, which I think you guys are learning how to do a bit more, but maybe more sleep is needed. Now, with a clean up card, there is a lot that we need to do. This is about clearing up the backlog. This is about cleansing our space. And I do see that energetically. There's a very strong need to clear... Uh, uh, clear your environment and this could be a good time to get rid of certain things that you don't need anymore that's leaving clutter in the home or again people in your life and situations in your life that are taking up too much time and energy um, the clean out card is very mm, emperor energy i always say because there's a stag here which is uh, kind of that masculine energy of taking action uh, some of you might be clearing the air with somebody here uh, something that you thought wasn't going to go very well ends up going very, very well. So this could be a speech, this could be an interview, this could be a meeting of some kind. Um, it will go very well, okay? So don't worry about it. I just think, or even speeches, I just feel like as long as you have the foundation of what you need to say in any circumstances, uh, you will be fine, trust me. And it will flow very nicely and by the end of it, you'll be like, oh, okay, that was all right, <laughs> okay? And uh, this looks good for you, okay? Um, this is about getting your life together and I feel like this is happening for you guys, Scorpio, because a new beginning is starting to happen. When the clean up card comes through, uh, normally I see this happens from a tower moment. So maybe there was a, a split up, a separation, or maybe there was an epiphany of some kind that spirit has so kindly come in and showed us <laughs> in, a, in a difficult way. But we learn a lesson that way. And I think Scorpio, sometimes you need that extra push. Sometimes you need that extra kind of dramatic scene to really get the message and, and this is what's coming through here um there is closure coming through there is an epiphany coming in you're learning your lesson you're clearing up the mess you're dealing with the things you need to deal with that maybe you have been avoiding for a little while and now within this week you are going to learn how to be so clear in your energy in fact crystal clear is coming to mind here this is a good time as well to either be around water to drink more or both um because we go from this very like muggy muddy dirty energy into this crystal clear energy a lot of you definitely are being reminded uh, to meditate a little bit more here uh, especially if you're wanting to astral project or anything like that i don't know why it's coming in lucid dream it's uh, very spiritual spiritual um uh ex 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 <laughs> experiences there we go coming through for you uh, but the breathe card is also maybe even breath work is what you're being guided towards uh, focusing on. Now, when a breathe card comes in, this is saying the more that you thrash around and, and panic in situations, of course, the worse the situations get. And, you know, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy of your fears. Uh, but this is asking for you to 
understand that you can only do what you can do uh, and do your best in it everything else will just fall into place the way that it needs to okay as you're being reminded to relax all right my angels um let's see what's coming in for you guys let's see for scorpio queen of pentacles knowing your worth of course this is virgo energy but this is really about cultivating something which is really interesting i will say you do have some people who are most likely watching you here um this is this is love interest i was gonna say it always depends what's behind this page of swords when it comes to it's gonna be good or bad uh, you do have people watching you people who are observing you they do hold some hostilities towards you. Uh, I might dive in and see if it comes up later on in the reading why that might be the case. But of course we have the uh, Knight of Cups coming through here as well, which is of love. Uh, these are people who are romantically interested in you here, Virgo. Um, but I think that you're very focused on your stability. The Queen of Pentacles in this deck is staring at the pentacle. You're staring at your money right now. You're staring at your stability and the seeds that you're wanting to plant in the future. And I do see a new idea is happening, uh, happening, is coming to mind for you guys. You're just learning what you need to do to get this going, uh, whether it's a business, whether it is, again, a financial goal of yours. Um, you, will, you will find a way. Uh, and in fact, clearing the space around you will help first before then planting the seed because what the the example they're showing me is sometimes the soil isn't really good enough for the seed that you're wanting to plant so uh, make sure you do your research before you go straight into something that is a metaphor for a lot of people unless you are planting seeds <laughs> uh, Scorpio I'm just gonna say now uh, I do see a lot to do with um, flowers so you guys could be planting your own veg or, or you know plant in uh, flowers somewhere this is good for you to have more greenery in the home as well i have a lot uh, a lot of this is coming in anyways the queen of pentacles is really good for knowing your worth as well in life and when you start to know and understand your worth you have boundaries and standards and those standards help you to deny those who come who can't give you what it is that you want and you start to see that clearer you start to understand that and you know when to uh, detach but it also means that you also can see when people who are worth your time and energy when they come in and uh, you can make decisions based off of that as well okay anything else for Scorpios please anything for Scorpios I'm seeing the initial R for some reason coming through for you Scorpio what, what's happening <laughs> all right the death card scorpio your energy is coming in very strongly already in your reading i like this this is definitely changed yeah absolutely look at this wholesome change is what they're saying here this is communication um about changes that are going to be made in your life now some of you are seeing this in dreams some of you are getting communication in dreams i feel like some of this is very spiritual you're also gaining guidance in a sense of direction so again pay attention to any channeled messages that you guys may get into you might feel more aligned to spirit within this week as well which is good um again this is because of your standards and boundaries and for clearing space around you um the death card also brings in transformation so a lot of you are transforming and i love to see this card when when there is a page and a, a queen or a king or anything like that coming through because it does mean growth it does mean here that you are learning how to make things work for yourself you are planting the right seeds you have the right idea it's just about keeping to it and i do see transformation happening already for you so any seeds that you planted in the past are coming to life within this week this is definitely a week of feeling good about the things that you've done in the past and what you're doing now in terms of where you're going in the future, okay? Um, of course, there could be some communication coming in here too from somebody. Um, absolutely, there is. Maybe from a Libra coming through for you guys. Uh, we have the Queen of Swords and the Page of Wands, which is interesting. Someone could also, there could be a messenger, like uh, either this is uh, happening over social media and this is representing like a platform or whether this is actually representing someone is telling someone to tell you something <laughs> complicated but here we go this could be anything to do with legal situations or anything like that because libra and energy is like that um there could be some positive news in a way in terms of changes that you're making too this could be like movement some of you could be moving homes 
uh, relocating here as well, Scorpio. And this could be what the time to go card is talking about. You're just following a, a, a nudge by spirit to go somewhere, uh, which, which feels very good. Okay. All right. Anything else happening? Let's move this over here. Let's go. Anything else for Scorpios for the week? <laughs> here we are. We have the Ace of Cups bang in the middle. Some of you are getting a lot of love offers and I don't think it's just one. Uh, this feels like a lot of people who are showing their appreciation from you. This could be someone that you separated from before. Uh, this feels like a long time ago, whoever this is, though. With the Three of Cups here, someone is wanting reconciliation with you. Someone may have put you in a third-party situation. I don't like to always mention that, but um, this is just what it feels like. Someone's wanting to make amends. Uh, I, this, this, there is love here. But I just don't think we, you, you're wanting to engage in that. Again, your standards are a lot higher now. You're a very different person because of this transformation that you've made. All right, let's clarify this love again. This Ace of Cups. I felt like a long time ago. You're kind of over it now. You don't really want... I think that you might even say to this person, look, like, whatever happened, happened. At the end of the day, I'm worth a lot more than what you put me through, and I would rather be alone. <laughs> I'd rather... I'm spending a lot of time on myself, and I don't really want anything to do with you, if I'm being honest. And a lot of you might actually have that conversation here, which is interesting. Or again, you could be hearing about this person who's not over you. They're very sorry about what they did to you. They're holding responsibility a lot, and which is, I guess, at the end of the day, is their karma here. Mm, you can't, there's nothing you can do about it, basically. It's, it's, that's their, actions have consequences, they're paying the consequences, that's all it is. We don't want to talk about that too much because it really does not matter in your life. I think you're moving away beyond it anyways, but just know that they are sorry. They're very likely to communicate this with you. They've had a lot of, to, of time to think about it. Um, and there is an apology here, okay? Anyways, anything else coming through for Scorpio? The Tower card, all right. It really wants to come out here. What is this tower card? King of Swords, again, air energy coming through. Someone wants to stabilize something with you. Yeah, they do. Ah, is this someone new though? Can I just clarify if this is the same person? There's a lot of people who want a fresh start with you, Virgo. What's happening? It kind of feels like well, as soon as you clear your energy and get rid of all these people, now they want to come back, which always seems to happen here. Oh, maybe someone's seen you with somebody else. Someone thinks you have somebody else. Someone knows you have a lot of suitors here, Scorpio, a lot of competition here. They're very conflicted, though, about this. It does feel like someone can see you with somebody else, and that's painful for them. Very hurt. Nine of Wands, very, very hurt energy. Some of you, I'm going to say, might be a little bit scared of love. This is a wound to, of course, learn to heal because you've had very destructive endings in, in relationships that really harmed you and hurt you. This is why you're scared of it. But I do see a connection coming through. This, this person's different to the one that's coming through to apologize, by the way. This person's being very serious about the offer they want to give you, though. But I think you're over this person. They've hurt you way too much. You don't want to think about it. Okay. I do think this is coming through, maybe because of jealousy. Um, I do sense that they do have regrets here, Scorpio, but you're just not about it. I'm not, I'm not about it. All right, let's see who this Two of Cups is, though, because this feels new. Could be a Leo. <laughs> you, you, yes. <laughs> You're going to come across this person when you least expect it because with the, with the Eight of Cups, usually it's about walking away. But when it comes up with the Two of Cups, the Eight of Cups walks away to find the two. You guys are finding true love here when you walk away from somebody. They are going to want to come back is all I'm saying. So be prepared for that. I, wouldn't, I don't want to say don't fall for it. I don't think this is a, an ingenuine offer because, again, I see a lot of burden on their back because of what they did. Maybe they... They, they didn't tell you how they felt. The Four of Pentacles, they kept something to themselves here. They are learning their lesson from this. They're very hard from this. They took, they took the hardship, they took the pain if you wanted to walk away from them. They didn't want you to, but they understood you, you needed to because of whatever they did or didn't do, let's say. 
for some of you because not all of you are going to have gone through a third party situation but they do want reconciliation and that's what the three of cups does tend to mean they want happiness with you but they were hurt too in a situation again hmm, depending on the situation take that however you wish but you're finding true love and this person will or has seen it because uh, another situation wasn't going anywhere I just want one more card with this yeah it could be a Capricorn oh my goodness we have a lot of Capricorn energy coming through here this is someone that you waited for now um, I'm gonna say a lot of sexual chemistry between you and somebody here someone's coming in with a serious offer maybe taking you out of just a purely sex-based relationship Scorpio uh, <laughs> interesting this person you're going to trust immediately though there's a lot of sexual chemistry this person has some very hidden <laughs> i don't know it's um <laughs> uh you might not expect this person to be so intense but they really are intense you know especially in the bedroom just saying scorpio which you might love knowing you guys um, but I do see a very genuine offer coming. I mean, to be honest, you have two offers, Scorpio. You do have an offer of this pentacles from somebody else who you've dealt with, who you have separated from. Let's clarify the tower quickly. Yes, who, you know, things weren't built on the right foundation. It, the, the potential was there. The potential was there. Uh, but it just was never fulfilled. Whether someone else always got distracted or always had something else uh, going on here. You felt like you was doing all the work by yourself. It had potential, but it just never got fulfilled. And for some of you, it was built on the wrong foundations. It started off on the wrong foot, the wrong way. Especially if it was, you know, sex-based. If I'm going to be on I know, very vulgar language. I actually, no, it's just... Don't come out here acting like you're saying, like, Virgin Marys, please. <laughs> Scorpio, especially not you. <laughs> um... Someone is coming through. They want to come out the chaos with you, come out the conflict with you. But the thing is, there is love here, Scorpio. But this person really fails to vocalize that. And this is the issue, most, most likely. Yeah, there is feelings there. This person does have feelings for you, especially pain. Mm -hmm. Okay, two of cups. So you do have true love coming in. So it's up to you. Nine of Wands. Mm. Now they see your worth. Of course, this always happens. And they they are really in their feelings about it. Look, look at this. They are in such regret. The thing is, Scorpio, I, you get what you want out of this situation. Meaning, if you leave the situation behind, not only do you have them coming back in, but you also actually have true love. You are an empress here. And this is a common theme coming up for all the water signs is you are sitting in your true, authentic energy. You know your power. You know your worth. You are sitting very comfortably in life, meaning that you are very much trusting in spirit and the universe to bring you what it is that you deserve. You're not settling for any less than that. You're calling in your true power in terms of money. Again, abundance is being planted. Businesses that you guys own are flourishing. You are learning how to make more money. You guys are becoming more stable here. This beautiful energy in your life. There is beautiful energy in your life. And you're hearing great news about change, transformation, forward movement. You know, the next step, the next chapter in your life. But this is where the foundations start to shake here because some people are really regretting what they did. Or what they didn't do. Again, for some of you, I want to say that. And someone's very wounded because now they see. They knew something was there from the beginning, but they didn't take initiative on that. Now they see. I want to say that. Now they see. <laughs> and then we have the Nine of Cups. Wish for someone on your end. All right. Just one more card for the devil, please. Oh, I'm seeing surgery. Um, we have the magician. Interesting. Someone may. Mm, oh, no way. <gasps> Sorry, I'm so dramatic, but the, oh my goodness. The magician is kind of like uh, someone may have been out for their own gain. 
uh, and this is what they are regretting. Some of you, maybe this is someone again who put you through third party situations, um, but for others of you, there is just it's, it's guilt because someone's seeing that they, they, they took a lot from you and never gave back and maybe they did have you in that spider web that I mentioned in the beginning. For some of you, because I'm, I'm battling here, because for some of you, this person was pretty malicious um, of the past. They are coming back in. For others of you, um, this person didn't mean to do it. They just, I, I think, it, oh no, I don't know whether this is an excuse of theirs or whether some of you, they have a lot of guilt around this because it got too far. They didn't expect this to go this far. But they let it and that is still their fault. And they accept that. They're understanding that. And this is why they're so guilty. And I do think that's why they're coming forward to you to, to tell you this. I let it go too far. And the magician here. Did they lie to you? Yes, they did. Let me see what about though. What did they lie to Scorpio about, please? Hmm. Now we have a match. It feels like they held, okay. For some of you, this person may have lied about something to do with either work, uh, their uh, stability in life. Especially if this person made out, you know, everything was good and great, you know. Mm, I kind of sense that this may have been a lie. For others of you, Scorpio, I, I kind of Taurus energy coming through here. I feel like this person may have lied to you. Uh, well, here we have a match. So maybe they pushed you away despite knowing that you were someone special to them, but they treated you as if it was just, you know, surface layer. Again, whatever this is, they will regret it because you're transforming a lot. Okay, and again, as I had earlier, oh boy, it haunts them. It really, really does haunt them. Absolutely, but this is their karma. They understand that. They, they, that's what they keep playing in their head. This is, I keep seeing it. This is fucking karma for me. I just feel like someone's saying that. Ugh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Everything else for you, Scorpio, looks amazing. It's just the external surroundings around you that are... People are really regretting what they've done to you, Scorpio. And this week, you're going to feel that because you're doing damn good. That's why. I think everything to do with you, you're not coming up in the reading very much because you're sitting in your uh, Empress energy. You're sitting in your power. You are receiving a lot of good news on the way for you, especially in terms of movement. Like this is accept, uh, you're being accepted for things and things are progressing and love is coming into your life. And a lot of you are finding true love. So we dip into this again. This person is likely to be this Knight of Pentacles, which is someone who has a very stable offer for you. The initial H can mean something to you. I could mean something to you. Or uh, O for some of you. Anyways, two of cups. This is what you're looking You're looking for true connection and true love. That's what you're looking for. Yeah, four of wands. Very likely you will. Very independent people coming together with love and passion, which I love. 11-11, this is a wish. Anything about this person? Three of Wands, they could live at a distance from you. It could be overseas. Nice. You will have to make a decision here. But don't, don't rush. The right person will wait. And this person is very likely going to be waiting. This person wants to see you though. Okay, especially if they do live from a distance from you. Okay. Uh, you're sitting in your energy, you are healing, you're chasing your dreams, your goals, and you will do that, absolutely, but it's just a lot of chaos and love, huh? <laughs> a lot of regrets from other people around you. Damn, I feel bad for this person, but I probably shouldn't, depending on what they did to you, of course. I'm not seeing exactly what it is, because uh, for some of you, it's not as, it wasn't so intentional, the pain that they caused for you, but for some of you, it is. Either way, they get in their karma, okay? All right, my angels, uh, I'm gonna pull you out some guidance. <laughs> guidance? <laughs> Jeez. 
Okay, we have emerging. This is like that Scorpio energy. You guys are becoming a phoenix rising again in your reading. You guys are really see again, the flowers. All right, these are lilies here. That could be a name. Again, lilies could mean something for you. It, I'm kind of getting there's a need to celebrate something though. Uh, but you are emerging. You're understanding yourself. You're growing your wings here. Intention coming through as well. You guys are setting intention within this week. You guys know your intentions and uh you guys are putting into the right things and investing in the right things within this week and freedom we love that a lot of spiritual growth for you guys okay let's pull you out some love oracles as well and see what's going on for you the scorpio nice these cards were fighting let's see the scorpio please for love separation sadness missing you we have this tower here as well ah this person is really going through i can feel this so badly i mean again this is it's their own actions i guess mm. cupid's arrow have faith love is coming i do see true love coming in but someone is the distance does make the heart grow fonder. Whether you accept this person or not is really up to you, but I do feel like someone is wanting to see you again. And this is someone from the past. And we have girl talk, which is time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment and having fun. Again, your life is blessed and it's about to be blessed. You guys, I'm, people are falling in love with it around you i'm just seeing kind of like uh <laughs> i kind of see you in the middle just having fun with life and just loving life and just really pampering yourself which is amazing everyone around you is kind of like fighting over you like of course this is like vision wise of how i'm seeing metaphorically speaking but it's like there's so much chaos going on around you of people who are trying to make amends with you, who's like fighting to get your attention and falling in love with you. And you're sitting chilled in the middle. That's what it feels like. You have people regretting how they treated you. You have people who are falling in love with you and that are new in your life. And you're sitting there like, sitting there looking pretty like this Scorpio. <laughs> so much chaos. Anyways, this reading's gone on long enough. I love you guys. I wish you all the best. And I will see you guys next week, okay?